Okay, I'm back. Been a while since I started a um, lock, but Alexa, stop. Um, she's making this very easy for me because she finger coiled her own hair. And it took her some days, a few days to get it all together. She did a little bit at a time, but she did an excellent job. Look at that. Look at that spring that they look at. Look at that. Just wonderful. I'm excited just to even do it. So I'm going to lock it up. I'll come back. And then uh, we'll come back after we're done today in six weeks and uh, go from there. And you can follow her journey and um, leave comments and we'll try to address those comments for you. And maybe we will inspire you to um, get started on your journey. All right. Okay, I'm going to show you a couple steps of how I latch. This is a traditional latch hook. All right. I did put some oil on her scalp already. And then I'm going to take the first one. And... Um, I'm going to do a four point uh, rotation. So, what that means, I'm going to do a clock rotation. So, I'm going to go from three o'clock to nine o'clock and pull it through. Then, I'm going to go from six to twelve and pull it down. And then, I go from one to seven. And I just actually go around the clock depending on how much growth, new growth is there. We're just starting her, so um, she may take five or six of these to get her locked in. And we will have to see what her six-week growth looks like, and we'll do we'll follow up on that. The last one I always try to come from. 6 to 12 and bring it down in the direction that I want it to go in. Okay, so that's all I did. Now these down here, I will put together and make one myself. Right now I'm just going to work with what she's already started. And so, do it again. You just keep thinking about like a clock. You never want to go back into the same one because that could create a hole, create a space. And you don't want to do them too tight. So once I see it start getting tight, that one actually I shouldn't have done. See if I can back it out. Because remember, I told you I like to start from the bottom at 6 o'clock, pull it up to 12 o'clock. I'm going to get my hook here. Put some oils on my hook. I like to go from the bottom to the top to finish out the last one. So that one's got quite a bit, so I'm going to roll it up a little bit. And then as you get into the red one, you'll get better at it. And somebody might be saying, how can I do my own hair? We can do anything. We can do anything. There's another one. All right. I want to come in right quick. She did pretty good with her lines. And so anything I can suggest when you guys do yours, try to do a grid. And the reason why you want to do a grid is because when you come back to tighten them up for your tightenings, you can do your lines and make it a little easier for you to connect all of the hairs to where they're supposed to go. Okay. I've done three rows already. And, uh. They're looking pretty good. How do they feel? They feel fine. Okay. Like, like mm -hmm. good. I didn't do them tight. 
Uh, you don't want them doing tight. You don't want them to be filling it. You just want to leave just enough room in there. Let me see if I can get close to one. So you can see, see there? See that right there? I didn't do it tight. I just finished on the down. From 6 to 12. Okay, and that's kind of... So we'll come back. Okay, we're back. I'm not quite finished yet, but I want to bring you in just to show you. It's coming together. There. and uh, I do put um, oils in her hair I've done with all of the, the five locks that I've started six or seven locks that I've started and this is a spray bottle with seven different oils in it a leave-in conditioner and it fill up the bottle with water and I've been using this all the time and then now I'm using this either the blue or the organic castor oil uh, and then I mix it with uh, what's the name of it <clears throat> can't tune half and half you guys know me this is not a professional video leave-in conditioner shea butter that's what I use can't tune so I mix it with that, with this one, or with that half and half. I just do half and half, and then it comes out like this. And I whip it up, and uh, I put it in the scalp, rub it through the hair, make sure it melts, and I don't want any build up in the in the braids. But look, they all look nice. And this is something I'll do every time I uh, tighten up her hair. I have. When I did my first videos, people left in the comments that um, not to put oils and stuff in the hair. I'm not a beautician, didn't go to school, none of that, but I believe that our scalp needs to be nourished. So I've done that and I've had no problems. We are done. Four hours. Not bad because she did all the work. She put in the work. And this for me was kind of like a, a tightening. Even though it was her starter locks out of um, uh, co finger coiling. This look, looks so beautiful. Look at it. Feels good. It's all oiled up. And uh, how does it feel? It feels great and light. Okay. All right. So if you guys like to follow her journey, leave comments. Follow her journey. We'll see her again in six weeks. Actually, we're going to put her on the calendar for six weeks. She comes back. We'll do a little mini video so you can see her growth and see what she did while through the six weeks if she had any problems or concerns and go from there and hopefully you will be encouraged and as always be blessed because you are blessed by the best thank you give us a thumbs up